Good day, Freshman Flames. This is Mom March, and this is another week of video discussion for our subject, Gen 001, Purposive Communication. Now, uh, this week, we scheduled for you to have your quiz 1.1, so we shall only tackle one lesson for our discussion, and that is Module 6, Writing a Story Review. Okay, so before anything else, let's have the lesson objectives okay so at the end of the lesson the students shall be able to identify the elements of a story review and you should also be able to prepare to write a story review okay so uh, writing a story review okay because you know everybody loves a, a good story yes and you know a fine story brings us to you know another world or introduces us to characters we never met in person okay so whether that's a good book or whether that's a uh, a movie that you have watched okay you will always make sure that you will have a good time uh, after you you know you will have a good time and you will have um, a lot of things to learn after you have read or after you have finished that movie okay so it also you know brings out our emotions so that's one of the things that's that's really it's exciting when you're reading a book or, or you're watching a movie okay uh, it brings out your emotions be it shallow or deep okay or let's us see life you know larger than we dare imagine Okay, so that's the beauty of a good story. Okay, so today we will bring together our lessons on narratives. Okay, so we have discussed our different lessons when it comes to narratives and our lessons on writing cohesive paragraphs. So what we have discussed in our previous lessons will be applied into this topic. Okay. Uh, writing a story review is a good exercise to structure our comments and feedback about movies we watch, especially when friends are asking for recommendations, whether movies, TV series, or a book. Okay, so when we say um, a, a short story review, okay, so a, a, a story review reveals your opinion regarding the core aspects of the story and addresses the the author's intent okay so the review actually gives a reader say for instance you are you're going to make a story review of a certain movie okay the the person who will read your review will get an insight as to your reaction and whether or not the story made an impact okay so writing a story review is not just merely a summary it's also a good opportunity to show critical discussion of the short story so it's not just only when you read a certain story okay you uh, you try you're trying to understand what the author is saying but if you also read another review of that story okay it gives you a different perspective Okay? Maybe the perspective of the review that you are reading is quite different from what you have imagined when you are reading a book or when you are watching a movie. So it's really, it's really nice to, or it's really fun to read reviews of certain movies. Though, yes, especially if you are, uh, if you like watching movies and, and you don't want to get spoiled with what happens in the story okay it's really not good to write story reviews but there are some people who are actually um whether they really like okay writing reviews first before they actually watch the movie okay it depends upon the uh, the preference of the the person okay so that's a story review okay it, it, the i mean it, it reveals your opinion regarding the core aspects of the story Okay? You let the readers of your review uh, know what you have been thinking while you are watching that movie or while you are reading that book. Okay, So you are giving them your 
your your insight, your take on the movie that you have watched or the the book that you have read. Okay, so that's story review. Okay, and when we uh, when we create or create yes, when we when we make a story review. Okay, this also includes the the processes. Okay, this is also involves the processes that we have discussed in writing cohesive paragraphs because when you write a story review of course it's also gonna be in a paragraph format okay so when you write a story review you should also have a topic you should also have claims and you should also have evidences same with the steps that we have discussed in writing cohesive paragraphs okay so when you do a story review and you look at the topic okay make sure you you talk about the title of the story the author of the book or or the yeah the if in cases of movies the director of the movie okay or the the screenwriter or the writer of the said movie and a very brief summary of that movie okay so a summary can can actually be uh, a brief write-up you know that sums up the whole story or the book or the movie okay so this brief account will summarize all the main points of the essay or story the summary will inform the reader of all the main points and the overriding theme of the larger piece of work okay so that's your topic okay so before you can actually create a story review okay you have of course, you have to know the title of the story that you are going to review and you have to know the author or the writer of the book of, or, or, or the movie that you are going to uh, create a review of. And you should also be able to create a summary wherein you are going to point out main events, main points in the whole book, in the whole story. Okay? Next, after finalizing your topic, you, you have to... You have to uh, finalize your claim as well. Okay, how well did you like the story? Okay, what was your what was your overall feeling on the story? How was it? Okay, did it satisfy your expectations, or what was your take on the context of the story? Was it disappointing? Was it was it exciting? Did it make you cry? Okay, so so what is your take? On, on the story that you have read or what is your take on the book that you have read what is your take on the movie that you have read okay did the movie move you okay or did the story or did the novel okay moved your core okay so that's your claim and that's if, if you if you decide on the claim of that particular book or or um, movie that you have watched okay then that's what you're going to write with your in your story review okay evidences okay now if you have already um finalized your your claim it's time to put evidences that will support your claim okay so specify examples like you know elements of the story okay examine the elements of the story tell about how the characters behave in the story for example you felt you know disappointed in your claim about the story you've read what part of the story was disappointing okay was it the way the characters were presented in the story was it the the overall theme okay this is the part of your review where you will list down all the evidences that would support your claim okay so topic claim evidences you finalize the topic you 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 mention a, a, a brief summary about the topic or about the story or about the movie that you have watched you finalize on your claim what's your take on this okay how did you how, how did you feel about this movie how did you feel about this book and then based on what you felt about that book or how well did you like the movie okay you are going to put evidences that will support your claim okay so here is actually an example okay here's an example of a a, a a review okay of a story okay and the writing prompt says here it's to write a review of the story and the purpose is to express an opinion regarding the story and the audience will be your peers okay so 
uh, earlier we discussed that we should finalize our topic, our claim, our evidences. Now, for example, okay, for example, the topic is the story about Cinderella by the Brothers Grimm, okay, and the uh, the 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 brief summary of the story is that it's uh, it's a story of a mistreated orphan ends up marrying a prince. That's that's a very very brief summary of 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 the topic that you're going to make a review of okay now what are you going to uh do with the claim okay so you have to decide your claim on the story of cinderella so let's for example your claim on the story of cinderella is that it's a very good story it's a nice story okay now if it's a good story if it's a nice story then you have to list down evidences why that story is considered as a good story okay so you said your, your your claim is that cinderella is a good story now now in the evidences part okay you have to list down your evidences why you said that story the story of cinderella is considered a good story for your in your own opinion okay so in this case you listed down Cinderella is a principled heroine. That's why it's a very good story. The theme, good triumphs over evil, which makes it a good story. And it's set in a magical uh, set. Okay? So that makes it a good story. So when it comes to evidences, okay, you might have the same claim. Uh, the same claim about the story that you have read. Say, for instance, you, have, you and your friend have read a certain book or, or watched a movie you might have the same claims when it comes to that book or that movie that you have watched you might have you know a, 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 the same feeling after you finish the book or after you finish the movie but the evidences can be different okay uh, your friend might have different evidences why she thinks that book or that movie is considered good your evidences might Act might, might be different as well okay so you might have a, a similar uh, feeling or opinion uh, with regards to a movie or a, a, a book with other people but there could be a chance that your evidences might be different you, your 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 supporting details might be different okay there are some parts that you could see there as a as something that will support your claim but for other people, they would not consider that as an, uh, an, a, a, an evidence that would support your claim, even though you have the same claims, okay? So, so the, the point here is, okay, you might be reading the same books, you might be watching the same movies, you might have the same uh, claim with regards to uh, that book or that movie the same feeling the same overall impression on the movie or the book Okay, but the evidences might be different. Okay, so it, it can be the same or it can be different Well, uh, there's not there's no problem with that. Okay, so that's uh, that's how you uh, Brainstorm this is step one. Okay, this is still this is just still brainstorming so if you have already finalized your topic you have finalized your claims you've finalized your evidences then you are done with step one and on to what we call your step two and step two now is writing your draft okay so if writing your draft same as the, the steps that we uh, discussed when writing a cohesive paragraph same with this one same with writing a, a, a review a story review okay so the sentence the, the first sentence would would talk about the topic so Cinderella is a classic fairy tale written by the Brothers Grimm about the mistreated orphan who ends up marrying a prince and lives happily ever after that's the topic okay that's the that's the there's your title there's the uh, the author of the book and there's the brief summary now sentence two okay would talk about your claim so what's the claim here uh, it, you have decided the claim your claim on the story your, your feeling on the story is that cinderella is a good story so this is a good story for many reasons okay so the following sentences sentence sentence number three up to before the conclusion okay we'll all talk about the 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 evidences that supports 
why Cinderella is considered as a good story. Okay? So, please, okay, you, you don't, uh, please uh, make sure to include your your transitional words, okay? First, second, finally, okay? Just like what we have discussed and learned in writing cohesive paragraphs, okay? So, sentence 3 and 4, 5, up to the sentence before the conclusion, we'll talk we'll all talk about evidences and lastly okay lastly all right you will do your conclusion so despite some elements of the story which may be anti-feminist okay the story of cinderella is still worth what watching or reading okay so this is considered as a complete story review on the story of cinderella by the brothers Grimm. okay so this is how you're going to make your uh, story review, okay? So uh, let me um, let me show you a video wherein this video talks about um, writing a a review, okay? So please watch the video. gave a lot of you know um, tips okay for you to be able to write a good review so it says there that you may include in your evidences that support your claim you may include personal experiences that would relate you to the story okay so so you could also put your personal experiences your own take okay if ever you have experienced uh, the same scenario as what the characters in the story have experienced. You, you may also write that in in the uh, in the maybe in the conclusion part, big or before the conclusion part. Okay. So uh, before 
yes, before we actually end, okay, I, I have some tips for you, okay, before writing a story review, okay? So, it says here, uh, before you make a review, okay, please do not read other reviews about the story so as not to write other people's words, okay? So, if you want to make a, a story review of, let's say, for example, a movie, okay? Make sure you haven't heard other people's opinion because it will, you know, it will be biased, okay? And it will, you know, it will sully, okay? It will, uh, it will influence how you are going to write the summary of that certain movie, okay? So make sure that when you make a movie review, for example, or a book review, for example, make sure that you haven't heard any other people talking about it it's it's your still your first time to 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 read that okay meaning to say you're you're an empty mind okay you you, you empty out your your feelings you empty out of your, your mind yes your opinion may may differ drastically from the majority opinion right do not be afraid a competent review will only be a plus um if i may relate something to this okay this tip okay I am the type of person that usually doesn't go with the flow. Okay, let's say for example, choosing choosing a school. Okay, if I if I, if people or pe or my classmates are going to choose, or a lot of my classmates are going to choose one particular school. Okay, I am the type of person that that, that chooses other schools, not the ones that my classmates will go into okay so it, i mean the point here in tip number two is that do not be afraid if you have different opinions with other people okay because that gives a certain degree of um i don't know maybe, maybe flavor or so, something you know quite different from what we normally hear or see okay so even if your opinion is different from other people, even if your claim, okay, your claim on the movie or the book is this different from other people, still write about it, okay? Because y you have your own opinion and for sure you have your evidences that will support your, 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 your opinion. There's no right or wrong or opinion, okay? Whatever your opinion is, it's, it's your own opinion. You cannot get faulted by that, okay? Remember the rule, the more negative opinions you have about the story, the more arguments you need to give in its favor. The review in this case will be more extensive. Okay, so if you're going to create a review on a book or a, uh, a, uh, a, a, a movie, okay, and if you have listed down a lot of claims, okay, make sure that when you when you want to focus on a lot of claims okay make sure you have certain evidences that will support those claims so it's gonna be a very lengthy story review <laughs> okay so if you have a lot of claims uh, you have conflicting emotions then you have to have uh, specific evidences and supporting details that would you know confer with your certain opinions okay <laughs> with your different with your different feelings and with your different uh, take on uh, on a book or a movie for example and lastly use sorry use in equal equal proportions logic and emotions we should not be biased okay uh, as much as possible okay we shouldn't be biased to the point that um, all of our reviews tend to you know um, besmirch or 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 um, you know override what the story wants to tell us okay we, when we make a review we create we we do a review in such a way that uh, we are still true to what the, the story okay is trying to portray to us okay so used in equal proportions logic and emotions okay all right so i think yes that's it for our 
module 6 discussion for any questions feel free to send me a message okay and if you have questions regarding our lesson please feel free to send me a message and ask them or you can ask them in our group chats okay all right so for, please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button for more details on our discussions on gen 001 purposive communication so thank you very much for watching this video and have a great day ahead okay goodbye guys